to bake chicken. If you know how to bake chicken the right way, then you have a better alternative to cooking it in oil. Baked chicken is definitely healthier than fried chicken, and it tastes better too. Somehow, baked chicken makes a more elegant dish than fried chicken. You can easily serve it up at an informal dinner party. For a busy homemaker, one of the best things about baking chicken in the oven is that it takes up so little effort. That's because baking it requires very little preparation aside from rubbing it with flavoring. You can leave it baking slowly for more than an hour and it will cook itself beautifully. This gives you more than enough time to ready the other dishes such as soup and salad while waiting for it to be done. Here are the steps. 1. To make baked chicken, you can use cut chicken pieces or a whole broiler. Cut pieces are great if you want to make batches that can be reheated easily later. But if you're cooking an entire meal, a whole chicken is best. 2. Thaw the chicken to room temperature and wash it thoroughly under running water. Take out the giblets, which are commonly stuffed into the cavity. Pat dry after rinsing using a clean paper towel. 3. Prepare a chicken rub by mixing 6 tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of salt, and a tablespoon of ground pepper. You can also add some herbs like oregano or rosemary, which will play off beautifully with the chicken. 4. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. 5. Cleaning the pan will be much easier if you line it with some aluminum foil first. 6. Rub the mixture into the chicken and lay it on a roasting pan. Give it a final squeeze of lemon on top. 7. Place the chicken inside the oven and let it bake for 45 minutes. At this point, the chicken will be producing juices that will collect on the roasting pan. Baste the chicken with this from time to time. 8. After 45 minutes, carefully turn the chicken over to let the other side cook. 9. You can throw in some scrubbed small potatoes along the sides of the roasting pan to bake along with the chicken for the next 45 minutes. The potatoes will be a good side dish for the baked chicken, and they will be very yummy as they'll have absorbed some of the chicken's juices. 10. After 45 minutes, check to see if the chicken is done. Take a sharp knife and make a small cut in the thickest part, which is the breast. If the juices run clear and the flesh no longer appears pink, the chicken is cooked. If you have a meat thermometer, a reading of 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit means that it is done. 11. Take the roasting pan out of the oven and transfer the chicken to a serving dish. Let it rest for 30 minutes before cutting. Don't throw away the drippings that are left in the pan. Pour them into a shallow saucepan. Deglaze the roasting pan on top of the stove by pouring a little white wine into it. Add this to the drippings. Let the liquid simmer. Add some butter, salt, pepper, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix well. If the resulting gravy seems to be too thick, add an extra tablespoon of water. As you can see, everybody can learn how to bake chicken, even if they don't have much cooking skill or much time to spare. Your baked chicken will certainly look impressive as it awaits carving.